Absolutely. And as you say, Brexit's clearly going to be an incredibly important thing, and it's going to occupy an enormous amount of uh, political time, both here in Gibraltar and obviously in London. But I don't think we should lose track of it and think it's the only thing that's out there, because there's also, I think, a much bigger change going on within the business world. And that bigger change is all about how do we deal with what some people are calling the fourth industrial revolution, which I think is much more an intellectual revolution. And the winners over the next few years are going to be those economies and societies where people are agile, where people are entrepreneurial. And one of the great things about Gibraltar I've seen is that there are a lot of really agile entrepreneurial people here. And giving them the confidence and the training to become what they can become in, in terms of, okay, you've got a small company, how do you go to be a medium-sized company? That's a real challenge. And it's a challenge I think the IOD can help Gibraltar business with. It's a, a challenge that the IOD is really active in helping British businesses with more generally. And in my view, in the next 20 years, the winners are going to be the places that actually embrace that agility and embrace that sort of uh, productivity gains that people are really looking for. You highlight entrepreneurship, but looking at Gibraltar as a community, are there any specific areas you think that need to be developed further? Well, uh, I mean, I, I'm not uh, pretending to be an expert on the Gibraltar economy, but clearly you've got gaming, clearly you've got financial services. I think the way in which Gibraltar has diversified away from being essentially a naval base, and I've been coming to Gibraltar now for almost 30 years, and I first came as a naval officer, um, and clearly it's a very different place today, but I think that speaks to the the way in which Gibraltarians are embracing the new world and embracing the business opportunities. And are there going to be new opportunities coming in the next few years? I would say absolutely. And I think Gibraltar has a really good reputation for grasping those opportunities as they come through. Uh, nobody saw the gaming industry coming at us, um, and here we are. You know, it's, it's now a really vibrant sector, so that's a, a great example of, of what can be done. One of your areas of expertise is that of thought leadership. So what's the focus here exactly? Well, what we try and do is to look at um, various areas which we think are exciting and um, where we, we think that there's opportunities to um, really branch out. So, for instance, in the last few years, we've, we've had a, a big issue on um, Brexit, obviously, but also looking at things like lifelong learning and how do you take people who have um, had one career and maybe reach middle age and think, I'm tired of that, or, or maybe that, that career is in secular decline, and they need to retrain and do something else. Mm -hmm. And how do you help people do that? And that's a, a really important thing. How do you help businesses and economies to become more agile? So we pick out topics where our expertise leads us to believe that there's opportunities and growing opportunities coming up in the future. And, and those are just a few of the ones we've, we've looked at in the last few years.